everyone, Sam here, and today I'm really excited to be sharing my grandmother's apple dumpling recipe. Now, when I got the recipe from her, I found out it actually comes from a very, very old Betty Crocker cookbook, but she's been making it for years. It's one of my family's favorite recipes. She makes it often with her Sunday dinners, and I'm really excited to be sharing it with you today. Now, to get started, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. The first thing that you're going to need to make these apple dumplings is two batches of my homemade pie crust. Now I will link to that recipe in the description. It's a super easy foolproof pastry dough recipe. I think you're really going to like it. I, you'll never go back to box mix again if you try it. Now we're going to start with just one of these rounds of pie dough. What we're going to do is we're going to place it on a lightly floured surface and you'll use a rolling pin to roll this dough into a rectangle that's about 1 8 inch thick. Now we are making six apple dumplings today, so you are going to need to get three six to seven inch squares out of each round of pie dough. So just keep that in mind when you're rolling everything out. Now with each half of the pie dough, I'd like to roll it into basically a long rectangular strip. Now this one is just over seven inches wide and it's about 21, a little over 21 inches long. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use a pizza cutter that you could just use a knife, that would be fine too. And I'm gonna cut this into three squares. Now you definitely do not need to use a ruler to make your cuts. I just like to use one because it helps me ensure I have a nice straight edge, which is just only going to make the apple dumplings look a little bit neater. The only important thing is that you make sure you cut a square that's large enough that it will be able to completely cover your apple when you fold it inside the pastry. Now we're just gonna carefully set these pie squares aside. We don't need them just yet. And then we'll roll out our other half of the pie dough. I'm going to be baking these apple dumplings in two nine by 13 inch pans. So for the time being, I'm just setting the extra pie crust or my pie crust squares in this pan. So now that our pastry is prepped, we're going to want to move on to our apples and filling and assembling and all of that good stuff. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to make our cinnamon sugar filling, which is really simple. You're just going to need a half cup of granulated sugar and one and a half tablespoons of ground cinnamon. Just gonna combine these in a bowl and just use a whisk to stir them together or a spoon. Just stir them together until they're nicely combined. All right, we'll set that aside and now we'll move on to our apples. You will need six medium sized apples for this recipe because we are making six apple dumplings. Now I recommend using a firm, at least somewhat tart apple for this recipe. I really like using gala apples, golden delicious would work really well. Granny Smith would even be fine. My grandmother actually uses red delicious, which are even sweeter than this, but you can use whatever your preference. I just really like using the gala. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel and core each of these apples. If you don't have an apple core, you can use a knife to core these apples. I really don't love doing it that way. It seems a little dangerous to me, but it can be done that way. If you want an easy apple core, I will link to this one in the description below. All right, we have our apples peeled and cored, we have our filling, and we have our pie squares from earlier. Now, we can go ahead and assemble our apple dumplings. As I mentioned, I like to do two nine by 13 inch pans rather than just one. It keeps us from overcrowding our apple dumplings and three dumplings will fit neatly in each container. So what we're going to do, is we're gonna focus on just one apple dumpling at a time. So I'm going to set two of the squares aside now grab one of your apples and just set that in the center of your pastry square. Now grab your filling and you're going to want to spoon about one and a half tablespoons of this cinnamon sugar mix into the center of your apple. We're going to top that off with just a dot of salted butter. So I take one tablespoon of butter for all of these apples and then I just take off a tiny little piece and I'm just gonna drop that on top. Now to fold up these apple dumplings, we are going to take opposite corners and I'm just going to Lightly moisten my finger, fold those corners over each other. Adding that little dab of water helps the pie dough to stick together, that way it doesn't fall apart. Now we'll grab the opposite ends. And there you have your first apple dumpling assembled, so we'll just repeat with the remaining apples. Now we are almost ready to bake our apple dumplings, but we do need to make our syrup first. Now to do this, you're going to need a medium sized saucepan. You're gonna to wanna to set this on your stove top. 
And to this saucepan, we are going to add one cup of granulated sugar, two cups of water, three tablespoons of salted butter, and just a fourth teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Turn your stovetop heat to medium, and we're just going to want to stir this frequently until the butter is melted and until the mixture comes to a boil. Once it's boiling, we'll just remove it from heat. Now take your syrup, and be careful because it's hot, and we're going to evenly divide it between our two 13 by nine pans. Now do not pour it on top of the apples, just pour it around the apples. And if you can, use a saucepan that has a spout, that way you don't make a mess like I did. Anyway, now we're gonna take our apples and we're gonna transfer both of these dishes to our 425 degree Fahrenheit oven, where they're going to need to bake for about 40 to 45 minutes or until the apples are tender. Now you can pierce these with a fork to tell if they're done and if the apples are nice and tender. I like to just use a wooden skewer. It doesn't make as much of a mess or as much of a hole in your apple dumplings. These feel absolutely perfect, so we're just gonna let them cool at least a little bit because they are scorching hot right now, and then you can go ahead and dig in and enjoy. And you have to make sure that you top off your apple dumpling with some of that syrup that's at the bottom of your pan. Look how perfect that looks. I'm gonna show you guys what they look like once you dig into them. This one is still really hot, but as you can see, they cut so easily. The apple is perfectly tender, perfectly cooked, and it is full of that buttery cinnamon sugar goodness. It's like an apple pie, but more compact. And sometimes I think this might even be better. All right, if you guys try this recipe out, please let me know what you think. I love hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. All right, this is very hot, but I am impatient. So I'm just gonna take a little piece Try not to burn myself. It smells so good. Mm. It's very hot, but this is really good. I think you guys are gonna like this one. Hey, if you guys enjoyed today's apple dumpling recipe video, I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, if you enjoyed today's recipe, I hear a few others you might like as well.